Hello everyone, it's Zach from Peewee Stack. Today we're going to be releasing a new feature called Stash View. Before we do that, I'm going to quickly give an intro to the tool for people who haven't seen it before. Peewee Stack's goal is to track your characters, your stash, and just the economy and meta as a whole to give you better insights into your journey through Path of Exile. Uh, we have a character ladder so you can search for builds or compare your own builds to others. We have character progression, which gives you snapshots over time, along with some graphs to basically show you what your items were at different points in your character's history. Stash profiles is kind of what we're going to talk about today. And then the economy as a whole, we track all the items to give you better insights into what they're worth and what your stash tabs are worth. If you're curious, I recommend going to poestack.com and just reading through all these features. A lot of the stuff you can try out without even logging in. Uh, the feature we're going to be going over today is kind of related to stash tab tracking. So stash view's goal is similar to stash profiles, but while stash profiles are more aimed at tracking your value over time, stash view's goal is really to give you better insights into what your stash tabs are right now. So to get started, just go to pewestack.com, connect everything up, and then click on stash view. Your page will look much like mine, but you won't have any items showing up here yet because you haven't taken any snapshots. So all you need to do to take some snapshots is select some tabs, I'll select a few extra, and then press snapshot. See some feedback here as it goes through, and when it's complete, items will show up and some graphs, much like mine. So unselect these, and go through the features of now that you have, now you have some items to look at. So up at the top here, we have the first feature, which is your value over time. Yours probably won't look like this because you haven't taken very many snapshots, but as you take more, this will show the value of your tabs over time. Currently, I have the Essence and the Fragment tab selected, and I have the filter turned on. If I turn the filter off, you'll see that all my stash tabs show up. If I turn it back on, we're back to just looking at Essence and Fragments. So, if we want to look at the net value, we just hit this button, and it'll switch to adding everything up. So this is my current net value as a whole over time, and this is my val the net value of just my Essence and Fragment tab over time. Pretty easy to check out and to switch back between these and then you can view them individually by uh, converting it over. This just lets you quickly uh, choose time ranges so that you can look at a smaller window. The next areas to look at is the info and the value change. The value change over time just quickly calculates the total value change within the windows that you have selected and the change per hour. Uh, the info is just the totals so you can see the total chaos, the current div rate that's, that's using, and then the total div value. If I enable the filters, you'll see these values change, so now it's these values, but only for the Essence and Fragment tabs. So now we're going to get into the meat of the page. The item table shows you every item that matches your filters and search over here. So I'm currently looking at just my Essence and Fragment tab, but if I search for S, we've filtered it down to only things that have S in it. If I go a little further, we can filter it down to just Essence, right? You can see the values updating up here each time. So you can uh, quickly do different totals using this. Just bring it back out. Uh, again, it's applying the filters. So currently we're only looking at essence and fragments, but if I unselect this, we're now looking at everything in my stash. If I turn this back on, I can add in a few others. So let's look at cards and delve as well. You can see the total value is changing. And if we scroll down real quick, we can see the value breakdown is changing as well. So the other features in here, if we mouse over, we can see some current listings for um, any of these items. This gives you a better idea of the valuation and how these numbers are being calculated, along with your the current value being used, your current stock, and the total um, based on these two numbers, right? This little copy-paste here is for listing a game. This is a fraction that you can use based on this value. See if we can find one that's a little more complicated. Um, yeah, you can see here's one. It's trying to sell as many as possible, so it uses higher fractions to give you better listings. You can also see three quick links here. So if we want to take a look at the economy page, we can see how this value was determined. We can take a look at the wiki to figure out what this item actually does, and we get a trade link so we can take a look at the listings ourselves. Cool. Um, the next thing to take a look at is this little directional graph. So this just tells you kind of if the item is currently moving up or down. You can also expand it out to get a better idea if it's diverging or converging to figure out if the item is likely to continue changing in value or if it's pretty stable right now. Uh, on the right here, pretty basic, we just have the total quantity, the total value, and the, and the total of all of it, right? Let's see, anything else in here? Yeah, so basically down here you have whatever the currently selected tab is. 
you can see uh, up here that D2 is gold, which is why it's currently selected. Let me select Essence. You can see it's been highlighted over here as well. So we're now looking at the Essence tab. You can also navigate from here. So if you want to look at the Delve tab, you can. All of these have the same hovers. So if you want to look at their value, it's pretty easy. You can just mouse over any of these and see what they're currently going for. Value breakdowns show you the total value based on all of your current filters, based on um, across your tabs on the left, and then categories on the right. This is a quick way to just see, like, oh, my Delve tab is current, according to current filters is worth 1.3. If, like, maybe I type in jagged, right? You can see it's now highlighted, but also Delve is only worth 14 because only the jagged fossils are being, um, being valued at. As you saw also, it highlighted it. So let's say we're looking for our contracts and they're just kind of all spread out. We can just type in contract. We don't have any filter applied, so it's looking at every single tab and we can see that most of them are either in D2 or D1, which are my dump tabs. So we're currently looking at D2 and you can see they're highlighted red. If we click on D1, we can see some more here and they're highlighted red again. Makes it a little bit easier to, to find items in your stash tab. So categories, so if you're looking at like the currency tab, for instance, you can see that we have influence in general. So all that stuff works just like it does in game and you can easily mouse over any of this stuff and get the same sort of, the same sort of listings going, right? Cool. Uh, so the next thing to take a look at is tab groups. Tab groups are just a convenient way to jump between different selections. So currently I'm not, I don't have any selected, but let's select my main tab group. So you can see here that um, just has all my kind of regular tabs that I usually snapshot. So I usually just click main and press snapshot every so often to, to update their values. Uh, sometimes I only want to look at my dump tabs, so I just click dump tabs and click filter. And now here's all the items just for my dump tab. So it makes it easy to see if I have anything in there that I should be selling. So if I want to create a new tab group, let me just get rid of that one. Now let's do it. So we just deselect everything, select my three dump tabs, press new, dump tabs, and that's it. Now we can easily jump between those two selections anytime we want. Cool. So to actually work with this data, we have the first option is the form shop. So the form shop is convenient when you want to do a lot of listing or unlisting of items all at once. So let's say I was going to take a break, but watch some YouTube videos or something, but still be around to do sales if they show up. And I wanted to just list, let's say, all of these things. So my it's just convenient to sell items. I can just select the form shop, press copy, go over to the forms, paste this in, and press send. This can take a second for them to, oh, my authentication has expired, well, whatever. This can take a second to go through, but once it goes through, it'll list all of your items on the form shop, and um, they'll show up in trade just like any other item that's in a premium stash tab. When it's time to unlist them, you just go back, uh, delete the contents of the post, and send it again, now they're unlisted. It makes it really convenient just to do mass listings and unlistings because you can update them much faster than having to go through every item in game and price them out individually. Uh, cool. A lot of people don't haven't used the form shop in years, but it is actually fairly convenient for this type of this type of sale. The other common spot that people export items is to the TFT bulk. So all the same type of filters apply here. So I'm just going to turn off filtering so it looks at every single tab. But it should be pretty easy. You just select whatever you want to sell. If you haven't configured this yet, the easiest way is to just go over to the bulk tool itself and configure any options in here. There's a bunch of instructions and videos that can guide you through this. But once it's set up, you have access here as well. So you can select a value multiplier, and you can see the values changing, see the totals changing as well. And when you're ready, you can just post it to TFT. Uh, the other option you have is enabling value overrides and choosing your own values. So maybe you don't think 10 chaos is quite, or sorry, Two chaos is quite enough for this. It's worth four, so we can bump it up, right? Uh, and the value multiplier is applied, which is why it's 5.2. So if we bump, bring this down to 100, it'll now say four. If we want to sell this one for like two, we can do this. And then we have the value multiplier. And when we're ready, we can just press post to TFT. And there we go. So if I go over here, it has now been posted and it's added me automatically. So if I want to continue posting things, I can just select the next item, press post, and here we go. Another post has been made, this time in the heist area. So we have a bunch of these, uh, it makes it pretty easy. 
Hey, you can just run through them. Let's see. Yeah, so I guess turn overrides off and we would just go back to looking at my main and I usually just turn the filter back on and get rid of this and there we go, we're back to regular. So this makes it, the goal of this is just to make it easier for people to figure out what's in their stash tab and have less setup and configuration than the stash profiles. I think stash profiles are still valuable for tracking specific, like figuring out if money makers are good or not over time, but I think this tool will make it a lot easier for a lot of people who don't have as much experience or don't want to be setting up different profiles all the time and managing them. Uh, it's just a view into what your stash is at any given time. Uh, I've been really excited about this feature. I've been putting a lot of time into this, so it makes me really happy to see uh, how people will use this once it's out. And I would like to keep adding more features to this. I think there's a lot more things we can do with this type of technology now that it exists inside of PoE Stack. Uh, being said, I also want to take some time to thank all the people who have been using the tool. The tool, by the time this video is up, will have 20,000 users, which is way more than I thought it would have this early into its first league that it was uh, working for release of. So it's been really cool seeing it grow. I hope that uh, some of the people watching this will try it out and will join those numbers and we'll keep building and making it better for everyone. I mean, giving a more convenient experience to, to PoE players is really why it was created. So I want to keep going and keep uh, keep expanding on that, that kind of mission. Uh, I also want to thank specifically some of the people who have contributed actual code to the project. Uh, the entire thing is open source. So it's really easy if you want to check it out, you can just scroll down and go to the GitHub and all the code is here. Um, multiple people have contributed uh, little pieces here and there that they thought would make the site better. Uh, and then of course I also want to thank everyone who's contributed ideas. The, uh, the Discord is free for anyone to join obviously, and a ton of people have given really good feedback and some of their own ideas to add, and those have made the site much better. It wouldn't be nearly as good as it is today if it wasn't for people contributing their own feedback. Yeah, besides that, I don't really have anything else to go over today. I hope you guys have a good good rest of your day. I hope you guys try out the tool and have some good time playing Path of Exile. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you guys later. Bye.